Hey, what's up? It's Tim here and welcome to the Healthy Work Week Challenge Day 2, uh, where we'll be focusing on breathing. And you might be thinking, well, you know, we breathe all the time, so what's wrong with my breathing? There may not be anything necessarily wrong with your breathing, but what I would like you to think about is what it feels like to be stressed, what it feels like to be fatigued, what it feels like when you've been working long hours or even when uh, something comes up that requires your attention. Think about what that feels like, what kind of the initial response might be. Maybe it might be a spawn into action. It might be a sigh, <sighs> right? It might be something where you feel a little bit uh, lack of energy or lack of motivation. And uh, either way, uh, depending on how you respond to stress, one symptom of stress, especially chronic stress or when something has our attention for a long period of time, like sitting in front of a computer, one symptom of this kind of stress can be shallow breathing, where we're more so focused on everything else that's going on outside of us and often our breath becomes rather shallow. And this can make it hard to have oxygen in the brain, uh, to be using your full capacity of your lungs and to provide oxygen to all different parts of your body as well. So to combat that, I just want to jump right in and encourage you to follow along. And I'll go through a couple different techniques here. And first and foremost, probably the best one that I like just to get a little bit of added energy or to kind of follow or mimic what it means to sigh is a nice, deep, full breath in. So one, two on the in and relax it out as deep and as full as you can and relax it out. You can do this for up to a minute. So fully in as deep as you can and relax, let it out. Three or four more of those. If you want to sigh it out or make a sound, that's fine. Next time, let's take a deep, full breath in. Now we've got some oxygen flowing and hold it at the top. For five, four, three, two, one, and slowly let it out. We're gonna do one more, hold it in for five seconds and let it out as long and as slow as you can. Great. You may also want to focus on holding your breath for as long as you can for purpose of time. I'll leave you to do that on your own once you have lots of oxygen. Do that a couple times and you can start to really find that your body will make more use of the oxygen you are giving it. And breath holds can be a really great way to release positive endorphins in the body to help you feel better, uh, to feel a sense of relief, and to, again, help your body make the best use of air that you're getting. And lastly, what I'd like to encourage is this is something you can do anywhere, anytime. No one will really even notice you're doing it, so it makes it great for uh, when you have to be present and active with folks, but uh, maybe you're trying to either manage a bit of stress, anxiety, or just trying to find a little more energy in your day, and that would be to take long and slow, deep breaths. Almost too slow for comfort. You can either start by counting the seconds that go by for the inhale and slowly count the seconds that go by on the exhale. And whichever breath technique you choose to do today, maybe you choose to do all of them, I'd love to hear how it goes for you. If you find time to use it to boost your energy, to manage anxiety, or just out of curiosity to see what the effect can be. I wish you well today. Have a great and healthy work day and I look forward to seeing you on day three.